presentations of the Master in Health Economics and Policy. Uh, every person gets about 10 minutes to present their explanation of their article that they had to study. And then uh, there will be a few questions afterwards. So, over to you. Uh, I'm going to present the paper Association of Obesity and Central Fat Distribution with Character Collateral War Sickening in Middle-Aged Women. Selected the sample from this study, and they observed the uh, uh, the large sample. Uh, some of them for like a half, six six months, and uh, they selected the, those people who have a fatty diet. We're going to be talking about um, a logical study that was done on trying to measure the effect of radon concentration on different skin cancers in southwest. Calculate the incidence rates. They had to also have S, um, population figures over the five years, but they only had 2001 data, so they had to estimate populations for the other four years based on the growth, previous growth rate. Right. We will see how the authors used a multivariate uh, logistic regression analysis to determine the relationship between these um, chemical substances and uh, the probability of having thyroid disease. Also in fabrics and in uh, water resistant paint and so on. The authors tried to explain the methodology to predict the prevalence of coronary artery disease using several statistical methods such as logistic regression, linear regression, and receiver operating characteristics. Follow up of participants in the Framingham. Study. First, I want to start with the purpose of the of the of the paper. So the authors want to examine the relationship that exists between the degree of obesity and the incidence of cardiovascular disease. It was published in 1979 in the Circulation Journal, and the author's aim is to understand the impact of cardiovascular risk factors on the development of cardiovascular disease. Uh, for both diabetic versus non-diabetic uh, people. The failure among their diabetic uh, patients. So the authors explore the relationship or interaction between diabetes and cardiovascular risk factors. In this paper, they try to measure the association between bisphenol A and uh, several diseases uh, using a logistic regression and observations. So the first question that I had when I saw this title is, what is bisphenol A? I call it BPA in the further. Um, it is one of the world high production volume chemicals. Uh, bisphenol A mimics the hormone uh, estrogen and therefore it could stimulate reactions that are unnecessary in the Journal of American Health Association in the 2000. Uh, the main statistical tools of this article are uh, basically cost proportional hazard ratios. The purpose day, uh, they create a model using the uh, cost proportional hazard regression model. And in this model, we can see that uh, some covariates, important covariates, that anger, the level of anger, high, medium, or low, the level of hypertension. Are you smelling the thing that uh, Marisa has commented before? Is the um, atherosclerosis risk in um, communities study design? Mapping uh, that is uh, done mapping for use communities, for use age communities, and households interviewers. This is the amount of people who are recruited. Dietary fat intake and risk of stroke. This was published in British Medical Journal in 2003. They used several outcomes. The first one is ischemic stroke. I'm going to explain quickly because ischemic stroke is when. The, in the vein or in the arteria, there is a block, and then the blood does not arrive to the part of the body. Embolism, if it's in the brain, and thrombosis is in all 